everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you Chantecaille's newest collection, the Flower Power Collection. Now this collection was designed to bring us pure joy, especially after the year that we've just had. The compacts are exuberantly bright and colorful and fun. I am most excited to share that they have brought back the classic perfect blur finishing powder now in two shades and I will be comparing them both for you. Now this collection also has a beautiful lip chic, a blush, and a brush. We're gonna get into all of the details about everything, we're gonna demo it all on the face, and let's see what this new collection is all about. Let's go ahead and get started. started. Hello again, I'm Mo, which is short for Monique. Right here on my channel, I love to test out, review, and share all things luxury beauty and skincare. If you're into that stuff, consider subscribing. And if you like today's video, take a moment. Let's give it a thumbs up. All right, guys. So Chantecaille was so kind in sending over this beautiful package so that I can share all of these new goodies with you. Now, I would just like to take a moment to just say how cute is this packaging? Like, this is just the outer carton. And I mean, you already know with Chantecaille, so much work and detail goes into their products and it starts right here. So this is the packaging on the Blur Powder, the classic forever favorite Blur Powder. I cannot wait to share both the shades with you. So this powder is a best seller for Chantecaille and it had first come out with the Hummingbird collection. And this was the packaging of that one. And it also only came in one shade. So now that they have two, I just, I'm over the moon. So we're definitely gonna be getting into details and comparing the two side by side because I currently use the original, which is the lighter shade. Anyhow. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, so let me get back and tell you about this powder. This is a very lightweight finishing powder that leaves your skin pretty much flawless. It's said to be a long lasting gel formula that's infused with pearl opticals and all the fancies to pretty much blur and perfect you. It's pretty much a filter from the powder, but we're gonna check out that claim for ourselves, of course. The fun does not stop at the outer carton. It continues on the actual compact itself. These little flowers are, f you can feel them. It's not like the hummingbird that was a smooth kind of compact. This one has a little texture to it, but it's fun. It's really, really, really cute. Next up, we have the Flower Power Cheek Shade in Rosy. It too is raised with the actual flowers on it. Here it is side by side with the blurring powder for size reference. Now this blush is actually said to be the rosy sister to the blurring powder. It's a silky luminous powder balm that features nourishing oils for a seamless application. This lightweight, Soft rose blush melts onto your skin and adds luminosity to the cheeks with an innovative pearl formula. Light perfecting micro fine spheres blur the skin for a silky finish. You won't even know you're wearing it. Like what? That's some super ultra mega claim. I cannot wait to try this out. We will be comparing. I did pull a few of my other Chantecaille blushes. I want to compare just for comparison's sake have a lip chic. Simple packaging on this one, but a really bright and bold and fun color. I really can't wait to try this out. But this is the lip chic in Capuchin, I believe is how it's pronounced. And in true Chantecaille fashion, we have magnetic packaging. It feels nice and luxe, of course. And this is what the color looks like.
Now the Lip Sheiks are truly the best of both worlds. It's a lipstick and a lip gloss hybrid. Now this was inspired by citrus fruits. Can you tell? I can tell. I could see it. I could see it. It's a really, really pretty color. Cappuccino is said to be bright, hydrating, glossy, and weightless on your lips. It's also infused with hyaluronic acid for softer, plumper looking lips. What more could you ask for, right? Now this collection also comes with a mini buff and blur brush. This is the mini version of the bestseller, the buff and blur brush, which is a staple here. It's really good. So I was really excited that they made a little guy. Look. Oh, I can't wait to use this. So she did get a bath, so she's nice and clean and ready for use. Now, with all of those details out of the way, I don't have on any makeup except for eyebrows. I figured we'll do the whole entire process. Let's pull everything together and use these products as I would reach for them. And let's see what they're all about. So I have to just mention it really quickly. I have been trying out Chantikai's newest toning product. This is brand new. I am going to have a dedicated skincare video coming very, very soon. So you'll hear all the details about that. But so far for skin prep, I do already have my anti-pollution mattifying cream. I already have this applied. I have been using this consistently. I love this as the last step in my skincare. And I have noticed... Quite a difference in how my makeup wears and looks and just feels overall. So skincare and skin prep has already been done. You guys know how important that is for any makeup application. I'm going to start off by applying my Future Skin Gel Foundation. This is in the shade Banana. All the products we talk about today. I'm going to have them listed and linked for you down below in the description box. This foundation is very natural, very skin. You feel very fresh. It's that gel formula, so it's very comfortable wearing on the skin. And it does have buildable coverage. Now, when it comes to this blurring powder, I have the original. And I have used that on bare skin. I've used it with foundation. I've used it with powder foundation, gel foundation, liquid foundation. <laughs> So I am just going to use it as I would on a regular day, you know? Going in with my Chantecaille Camouflage CeeLo Concealer Skincare Hybrid. Amazing stuff. You know this. You do not have to do this. I am extra. And I love creating concealer cocktails. So what I do is I go in with a shade that's a little bit more brightening on the innermost portion of my eye. Now go in with my more concealer shade. I love most about this concealer is the fact that it is super moisturizing. It has blurring properties that help with the fine lines and they somewhat plump them. So it looks very nice on the under eye. Because it's got skincare, it's gonna give you a little more than just your traditional concealers. And do you see how easy that just blended. Absolute perfection. I have to share this with you really quick and then I promise we'll get into the powders, okay? <laughs> but you know, I figured we're doing the face. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I found the most perfect bowl for my luminescent eye shades. I almost have them all. Almost. I'm slowly building. These little eyeshadows are oh. Amazing. Do a quick little eye look. Literally the best one and done's. Like, amazing. I'm gonna grab Cheetah and Lion. I'm gonna do a quick look. This is kind of like my go-to when it comes to these little um shadows. I'm gonna just apply my Chantecaille mascara. This is another great product. I have been using this consistently and I have noticed quite the difference in my lashes health overall. They're longer. They, they hold a curl better, I have to say that too. They just look better. They look like healthy, cared for lashes. And I can totally get away with just wearing mascara over false lashes. Not that I don't wear my false lashes, because I love my false lashes. But for the everyday quick looks, this mascara is amazing. You didn't expect to come to a Chantecaille video and hear just a few Chantecaille products, did you? 
Now, before I do my bronzer, my blush, you know, all the other face fixins, I'm going to try out the new Blur Powder. This is a finishing powder, so I want to buff this on the skin now. And let's see. This is the lighter of the two, very well loved. And this is the new medium dark. Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. So I'm grabbing my Buff and Blur Mini Brush and I'm just going to swirl it around in the powder, picking up product. I'm lightly buffing into the skin. Wow. So I'm lightly buffing and it's not disrupting my base makeup. I'm gonna buff the forehead. So this side is just my foundation. And then on this side, I have the medium dark perfecting blur powder. Mm -hmm. What I love most is that it doesn't look like I'm wearing powder. It's very smooth on my skin and it feels like nothing. I don't feel like I just applied powder at all. It feels very light and nice on the skin. And then here are my smile lines with no powder with. What do you think? What do you think? So on this side, we're gonna do the medium dark. On this side, I'm gonna do the lighter, the lighter one and let's see. So I picked up some of this powder. Bring up a little bit more for my forehead. I honestly feel that I get maybe a little bit of brightening from this powder because it's obviously a little bit lighter. Such a lightweight powder formula, it's that gel powder formula, it blurs and blends into the skin so nicely. Wow. I'll save my thoughts for the end, but here we go. Here are the two powders side by side. I'm gonna apply my bronzer. This is the Shantakai Real Bronzer in Serena. Um, this is the lighter of the two. A little bronzer brought back a little warmth to the face. This is the perfect blush. This is said to be the little sister to the blurring powder and my skin is looking quite impressive already. So I am going to be using the Shantakai cheek brush. So I'm just going to sweep it across and pick up some product. This is said to be a powder balm, and you could feel that. I think for my skin tone, honestly, this is a very light blush, and it's more so going to be a very glowing product. The pigmentation on this is very soft. You could tell just by looking at the pan, this is gonna be a really light blush. So I think if you're any darker than I am, this is gonna be blush topper or even highlight, very pretty highlight on you. This is definitely not gonna work for everybody. I'm not even gonna continue and put on any highlight because I feel the blush gives a beautiful glow blur to the skin. I will say I am liking this very fresh face look. Don't look like I have that much going on. Skin just looks like good, healthy skin with glow and smoothness and blur. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, Shantakai. I see you. I'm going to do a quick swatch. That's one swipe. And then let's kind of build it up a little. That's such a pretty color. 
And it really goes with the collection because everything else is soft and then you have that pop with the slip. Ooh, it's the creaminess for me. <laughs> These are so nourishing on your lips. Super comfortable formula. And it's a true lipstick lip gloss hybrid. Very light application, you can keep it kind of more toned down. But what I love most about these lip cheeks is that you can build them up. But I wanted to show you what it looks like just soft. I'm gonna build this up a little bit so you can see. Mm hmm. Oh yes. <laughs> Do you see that nice shine? And here's what I'll say. Past experience with the lip cheeks is once the gloss is kind of, you know, faded down, you're left with the most beautiful tint on your lips. And the whole time your lips are so nourished and comfortable, this tone is so beautiful and wearable, I have to say, although it's a bolder color. I'm gonna try swatching these side by side just to see what what everything looks like. So here's the lighter of the two. Oh gosh, this thing is so soft. I just want to give you one more close up of everything and then we'll get into the comparisons and I have some thoughts. What do you think? Leave it in the comments. I want to hear. <laughs> I have three blushes that I pulled from my collection. Again, I Those three blushes from my Chantecaille collection I feel are the most similar and worth comparing to the new Flower Power blush. So now that we've tried everything, let's talk. And let's start off with the blush. So again, this is the Flower Power Cheek Shade. Well, as I love the light, fresh, no makeup, light look that this is giving to me. Reality of this shade in particular is that it's not gonna work for everybody. I will reach for this and I will use it just because of the effect that it gives to the skin. If I'm going for that fresh, no makeup look and probably not even wearing foundation that day, I'm gonna wanna wear this because of the blur and the luminosity that it is giving to my skin. The Lip Chic is absolutely beautiful. This is a real fun pop of color that is wearable and the formulation is fantastic. I love that you have the option of keeping things light by doing a little layer or you can build it up to a little more intensity, you know. Hi, I've entered the room. <laughs> beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I am a huge fan of the original, the full size buff and blur brush. So to have the mini is literally everything. Bristles are super soft. Construction feels good. It's in comparison to like the cheek brush. You see the uh, handle's a lot smaller. I like how this feels in the hand. It feels a little bit more substantial. So this is nice. So let's say you've been wanting to try this. You have a little one that you can try. So it's fair to say I'm a big fan of the mini buff and blur. It does a great job. It's very smooth on the skin. It buffs product and it really helps the application just be so flawless. Just by sharing the movement of the bristles, I hope you can just get an idea of how soft this little brush is. So let's talk about the blurring powder. First of all, I'm so happy that this is back because this blur powder is a big deal. Go for yourself, she smoothed and just perfected everything on the skin. I will say, and I'm speaking because I've been using this one 
for a while. So I'm gonna just hold them together. Be speaking on the ways that I've used this one. This is something I use on no makeup days. I'll go in with the mattifying cream, which is not even that mattifying. It's not anything that dries you out, makes you look flat. It's literally just like a protecting moisturizer that softens you up and just, you look amazing. So I'll put this on and then I'll buff this all over and I just look smooth, just like flawless and I love it. And then I'll, on the occasion, go in with a little bronzer and that's it, mascara. and typical no makeup day just running around but I want to feel polished and put together so of course I have full intentions of using my new darker shade to do that as well also use this powder to touch up I've also used this powder let's say I've applied too much blush I've applied too much bronzer I've kind of let things get out of hand I'll grab this and just buff and it smooths without getting heavy because it's such a smooth, lightweight formulation. So I'm definitely planning to do all of those with the new one. And I have to say, this powder did not disappoint. And if I, I had to recommend one product, I love all of them. I've made that clear. They all performed beautifully. I maybe wish they did another shade in the blush too because the formulation is very beautiful. But I have to say, if I had to just say, hey, get this one thing, get the powder, get the powder, regardless of the color, especially now that we have the option, get the powder. I hope I didn't forget to say anything, because this collection does have me quite excited. I will say that. I am quite excited about this collection. I definitely want to hear what you guys think. Comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling about this whole entire collection. And most importantly, since this, I feel, is the star of the show. Let me know how you're feeling about the new blur powder in the darker shade. How'd they do? How you feel about the packaging? How you feel? How do you think it looks? A special thank you to Shanta Kai for sending over these beautiful products for me to try and share with you guys. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.